I'm Carol Allen, and among other things, I'm the founding director of the Northeast Texas Choral Society. Hi, my name is Marlon Chisholm. Um, I play the role of uh, just a bass and tenor singer. Uh, sometimes I do solos, sometimes I just like to sit back and relax and just sing with the choir. I'm Gary Spragans. I'm, uh, I'm of course a part of the Northeast Texas Choral Society. Have been a, from the day one. I was actually at the very first planning meeting we had. I was the first president of the board that we had. And that was all about 25 years ago. And uh, it's been a great thing to be a part of though. I'm Ken Hanischek. I um, uh, represent the, one of the musicians in the Choral Society. I am one of the uh, pianists and I've been doing that for for quite a number of years now. Um, the, the director for that year's uh, concert on the square <coughs> said to the board, I'm going to need a chorus for this concert. And Lee Heisey, I will never forget it ever, leaned down the board and looked at me and said, yeah, Carol, we're gonna need a chorus. And I was like, okay, I didn't have a chorus. No one did. Carol Allen was having an idea that someone introduced to her that we could possibly have a community chorus or choir. And she thought, well, why not? So we started talking, talked about the name, talked about mission statement, uh, elected me as the president of the board at that meeting. Then we announced a date for tryouts and uh, freaked Carol out when we had about 107 people show up for tryouts and got some incredibly high quality voices in all of that. Monday, Monday nights are uh, set aside in my world for Choral Society and uh, you can be bone tired, you can have a, a bum knee, which I do right now, uh, and it doesn't matter. You're, you, are, you are there when the singers enter the room, when, when 80, 90, 100 singers come, come into the room, their, their, their energy and their excitement, uh, their willingness to be there. Look, they're, they're tired, they've all worked, they've all, it's Monday night. They've driven in from way out, around everywhere. And there they are, and they're ready to sing, uh, they're ready to do the work, they're ready to have the fun. It's a, it is a, um, it's, it's familial. It's very much a family. Well, for me, like I tell everyone, it's kind of my relaxation, my meditation. It's very therapeutic to me. When I get to the doors, I'm like, I'm here. I can do what I love to do with the people that I love to do it with. It's like a big family to me, and I enjoy, you know, seeing them every Monday night or every chance I get. It's, it's really a joy. No matter what the music is, it can be joyful, it can be serious and solemn, uh, but it is always uh, uh, a, a, a refreshing and, and, and uplifting to be there for those two hours every week. I wouldn't miss it. You know, I talk to God about this a lot, all the time. Lord, what, uh, what's your plan for me? and what's your plan for how we move forward with, with Choral Society. There, there, my hope and my belief, my prayer, is that there will be some wonderful person step in right behind me as soon as I'm um, ready to go. I mean, as long as there is Choral Society, long, they'll have Marlin Chisholm. They will. I think, I think music, a consistent choir to sing in, Music embellishes the quality of one's life. Whether you're singing it, whether you're playing it. Deanna started out singing and then switched to playing as an accompanist on the keyboards and being the orchestra for our group. Uh, whether you're singing or playing, or if you're the listener, the audience, it is an embellishment to your life to have music in your life. And therefore, I think that's what it's done for me. I think Deanna would speak, that's what it's done for her. We enjoy being a part of it. And even though we've at times thought we're so busy, we've got uh, several reasons to step out and not do it anymore. 
that has continued to make me push to stay a part of it and keep the Northeast Texas Choral Society a lively and healthy organization here in the city. It's been worth it. Because it's, it's more than music, I think, that we, we give to the audience. It's just the idea that here are a group of volunteers who are doing this for them, and it's quality entertainment. I love my singers dearly, dearly. Gosh, they're, I'll cry. I can never talk about them without crying, so I'm so glad we got through, because I just love them so much. They're just, gosh, ah. you look out at them and, you know, they've come in Monday night. They're tired. They've committed to do this.